My first museum job could very well have been my last, as it involved spending all day in a dirty basement with only rats and cockroaches for company. I had found myself living in New York City with my husband, 3,000 miles from home and with no job to occupy my time. My interest in social history had brought me to the Tenement Museum in the Lower East Side, a museum that tells the story of immigration through the personal histories of the inhabitants of one tenement building. I was so fascinated by these stories that I contacted the museum and asked to be involved. And so, here I was, a few weeks later, sitting in the basement, digitising their photo archive. To some, perhaps a boring job, but to me it was fascinating. Through the photographs, I could peek into the lives of ordinary people from the past. One photograph particularly stood out. A formal family portrait, two men and two women. The picture was like a million others, except that the face of one of the women had been viciously scratched out. The picture posed so many questions. Who had done this? Why? Was the culprit sitting in this very photograph? Was the woman the victim or the guilty party in this story? But the answers were lost forever. This image took me to the very heart of my love for social history. It shows how complicated and fascinating people are and how they respond to the world around them in a myriad of different ways. Now, nearly 10 years later, this fascination has fueled my desire to work in the museum sector to help to preserve these complicated and diverse stories and to pass them on to others, to puzzle over, interpret and try their best to understand. And I am so glad I didn't let a few rats put me off.